welcome back to the channel and today we return to instruments of destruction to check out some more crazy instruments of destruction on the workshop and i've noticed when i'm in here there's some ambient sounds that i'm not used to hearing there's some animals i, I hear some seagulls and there's a bunch of seagulls on these buildings and i do not know how the seagulls interact with creations if they do there's also apparently turtles all around the edge of the map or well i guess just in that location over there so that's kind of interesting but anyway uh we're not we're not supposed to be focusing on that we're supposed to be focusing on the creations and we're starting with this one right here and this is the doom warrior by i h s o y isoy all right so i love the fire skirt because that, that's a really good detail but uh are these seagulls gonna oh they do fly away well what if i do this uh, there's a seagull. Can we zoom in on that seagull? Oh, it just fell. <laughs> it did the Wily Coyote thing where once you look down and realize there's no ground underneath you, that's when you fall. We can do this with this thing. It's pretty floaty. Uh, I think we can also turn. Oh, we can do we can do fancy spins. All right. And then I think R is to activate something. Oh, oh, that is to activate the Doom Blade. Okay, we're pulling in all the glass now. Uh, oh, that is epic. Hold on, I need a side view of what just happened. If I can, I can't even get a side view of what just what just happened. When I pulled the blade up, oh, I, I'm getting sucked into everything. This is so cool though. All of the debris follows the blade. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, oh man, this thing is kind of crazy. All right, it's a lot. It's hard to do what I did. Oh, here we go. Yes. You know those shots, like those uh, those photographer shots when there's like the girl in the water and she's flipping her hair back in the water and it creates that big wave. Uh, I feel like I'm doing that, but with destruction and chaos instead. Oh, look at this. The buildings are falling down even more now. All right, well, that was fun, but we got some we got some really, really crazy creations to move on to today. All right, up next. Oh, whoa, I didn't know that was that big. Whoa, this is Robot 15, and this is created by Poddle. Has a powerful minigun and a built-in mortar. Is that what that is? See, when I saw the, th the thumbnail, I assumed this was like a building in the background because it just kind of looks like that and that there was just a walker here. But as you can see, whatever that is, is part of the walker. Whoa, what's going on up here? Whoa, look at the minigun. The minigun looks so good. All right, well, let's just uh, spawn this in. My legs aren't even touching the ground right now. Uh, W. Wait, 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 what? What did W? That is not what i was expecting for walking i can't go there's no there's no backwards button okay i can turn like that all right i kind of want to hold on i kind of want to reset i want to be farther away for whatever is going to happen with this stuff all right lock and ground oh whoa i don't think i've ever seen a building get destroyed like that i was not prepared for that hold on i gotta do that again I did not lock in ground. It said E to lock. Oh, space. All right, I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna press E. Ready? Oh, there it goes. Look at that. It separates the building from its frame. The whole building stays in its shape and just flies away. I've never seen anything like that. G is maybe the gun. Wait, did did you hear that? Wait, look at the look at the bullets. It's like. It's like we have a, a frame rate thing, like with the helicopters, where it, or the the water thing, where the water gets uh, affected by sound waves, and if you're filming at a certain frame rate, it looks like the water isn't moving, even though it's flowing out of something. So, how do I? Whoa, that's not what I was expecting at all. Okay, so we can aim like that, and then we can go up and down with R and F. I have to see this thing actually hit something. It's like a the slowest moving laser. It is just a minigun, though. It's just such a dense volley of bullets. Ah, oh, I missed. What is that, though? Oh, it's like reloading. Or it's trying to reload. You can see some stuff in there. Oh, that's what Q is. Q is to load up the next shot. That's crazy. All right, I gotta, I gotta respawn. I want to do that thing again. All right, first building. There we go. Now Q to reload. And now I will aim at the next building. 
That is so... Why does this do that? I've never seen any other creation have that effect on buildings. It just keeps the shape. That's awesome. All right. That was a very unique uh, instrument of destruction. Okay, up next. Whoa, this is like steamroller centipede. This is the ACCT Archispiro... Uh, hold on. Archispiro Streptus by Arad. Go everywhere, destroy everything. Well, all right, I am ready for this. W for forward. It is a steamroller. Oh, this thing is slow. What, is, what do the arrows do? Uh, okay, don't know what that does. What does Q do? What, do, what does that mean? The sound is so cool. I don't know what that is. It sounds so intimidating though. All right, there we go. We're bending this way. Now can we bend the other way? There we go. What do the arrows do again? I don't know. They make noises. The arrows make noises. They probably do something when I'm close maybe. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do arrow. I honestly, I think the arrow, I think it might just be intimidation noises. like. This is the noise this thing makes and you don't want to hear it. This is cool. Oh, the rib cage expansion with the debris up in the front. Whoa, is it creating a shockwave? I think it's creating little shockwaves when it does that. It's such a cool idea. I don't know what it means, but it's cool. Oh, the down arrow gives me like extra speed going backwards as well. Is that what the arrows are? The arrows might actually be a boost. Oh, I think they are. Look how fast the rollers are spinning. Yeah. Yeah, the arrows are totally a boost. Yeah, those things definitely create some type of shockwave. I could see the building disintegrating as it was getting closer to me when the uh, ribs were doing their thing. All right, up next, we're taking things a little bit smaller. And we have Punchbot. So this Punchbot is by Manly Stanley, and it is a robot that can punch. That's it. I kind of wanted to see a robot that can punch. Left hook, right hook. Look at the controls. I'm so excited for this. It's such a simple robot, but... I really feel like it's going to be fun. All right. Ready? Right hook. Whoa. Okay. I didn't think it was going to be that strong. Dang. This thing really puts everything into it. Wow. That is strong. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Ready? Left hook on this thing. Ah. There's really not. I mean, I took the whole thing out, but... There wasn't enough contact. All right, I'm going to do both at the same time. Ready? Oh, it has an auto stabilizer in it. I'm like, I'm surprised I haven't tipped over yet. All right, I'm looking forward to this building, though. And... Dang. Dang. Oh, look at it. I'm fighting the whole building. It's like Don Quixote fighting windmills, but instead of windmills, I'm punching buildings. It's like, you dare approach me? Like, well, it was a building. It didn't didn't really approach me. All right, up next, something a little bit different and also absolutely massive. This is the Grizzly, and this is by Stranger. Oh, no, it's ZQSD. All right, this is going to take a little bit to get used to. All right, so Z is to go forward. Oh, A is to fire. That's cool. All right, D is to go right. S is to go backwards. What was it? Q? Oh, yeah, Q is A. What is Y going to do? Okay, Y is the aiming arrows oh we got a bunch of weapons here and they all rotate i mean these things can't rotate all the way around right? it's got a break here i mean i guess it's not that bad that's actually kind of crazy all right let's go ahead and aim at the build this is an awesome looking tank the aesthetics are on point on this one all right uh, oh what oh i pressed a couple things at the same time so that's the cannon firing now. Look at the look at the glowing. It uses magnet assistance. Take a look at what the damage is. There we go. It looks like little cannonballs on that one. So then I think R is the mortar. Oh, that's what's supposed to have. Oh boy. Oh. Not too bad. Not too bad for the spread. F. Oh. That's awesome too. Man, this thing has just got like a full arsenal. This is like. This is, this is what you would expect in a futuristic uh, military game. Battlefield 2042 style stuff right here. Just got the full arsenal of weapons and it is a laggy creation because of these tank treads probably. Now let's drive over and see how it does in the rubble. 
There we go. Perfect. Oh, oh. I mean, it's just dragging it along. There we go. Now we're going through it. And I doubt this building is going to be... Oh, that was satisfying seeing all those windows crack. And right through the building like butter. Warm butter. I don't know if you've ever taken butter right out of the fridge. It can be... It can be a little bit resistant to stuff. But that was like warm butter. Okay, up next, another smaller one. This is Cosmic Kaiser. And this is by Undead. Whoa! Oh, I'm not doing nothing! Oh. Okay. Well, look at the gear stuff. What? That's so cool. Oh, wait. Oh, I think it's trying to like face in a certain direction. What is it doing? Oh, oh, that is a little bit confusing. I understand now though. Whatever direction I press with W, A, S, and D, it instantly turns the legs in that direction. The torso is kind of like a little bit slow to follow. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh, that is interesting. This has attack animations, full on attack animations. I forget what else it said the controls did. Oh, what? Whoa, is that a gun of sorts? Look at how it aims. That is so cool. How do you fire that? All right, so R. What? I just face planted. What is happening? Wait, why is it broken now? It doesn't spawn in the right way anymore. Okay, okay, I think I fixed it. I think I fixed it. I don't know what I did, but I think I fixed it. I'm gonna not fire the thing for a little bit now. Um, I kind of wanted to, let's just do the basic swings and try those first. So Q. Oh, there we go. Oh, that is satisfying. All right, ready? And now right hand, E. There we go. All right, and then T is another one. T is like all over the place. Dang, look at that. Oh my goodness. Now G and F, I don't know what they do. They're supposed to be toggled, I'll press F. Oh, F extends the arm. Oh, I should have done that before I did E. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that definitely changes the arm, doesn't it? All right, ready, E. That was satisfying. Doing it while I was running. Oh, that is so cool. This thing has special attacks. Oh, this thing is so cool. All right, I'm gonna respawn so the building can spawn back in. Please don't be broken. All right, it's not broken. Now, G, what does G do? Wait, what? I have like a Thor's mace. I can throw it and bring it back. Look at this. I swear, look at this. This is crazy. I'm literally throwing my mace and it comes back. I don't actually understand how that works in this game. Oh, it just rolls away. No, come back. That's crazy. All right, so now if I press G again, is it gonna... I've never seen anything like that. Now it's like, it's static attached to me. And then I can let it go and then still swing it. And then I call it back. Hold, no, 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 no. I gotta do this. All right, ready? I'm letting it go. I wanna actually, I'm gonna throw it behind me. Ready? I'm gonna throw, I just threw it behind me like that. Now I'm gonna go walk to the other side of the buildings and then I'm gonna recall it. G. Oh no, I've caught it in my armpit. All right, that's okay. I can just release it. And then, how does that, like, my arm reaches for it. How does that even work? That is the coolest thing I've ever seen, I think. That might be the coolest thing I've ever seen. All right, I'm sorry. Hold, I gotta go into build mode here. Like, I don't even know how to figure out how this works. I understand it's a magnet, but like, that doesn't explain how you programmed it. It's like a magnet and an attacher. I didn't think it would be that accurate. Okay, up next is Green Hyper Death. This is by Gonzanator. Futuristic war automaton of unknown origin. Its only purpose is to destroy and look cool while doing it. All right, well, I wanna look cool. Man, this thing's got, this thing's got some thunder thighs. The whole, the chest, the way that the chest and shoulders rotates for the walking anime and the arms, there's so much into this walking animation. This looks so great. Whoa, what did I, I didn't even know what I just pressed. Is that like to go faster forwards or something? Whoa, this is next level right here. And we got arrows, we can aim the guns up and down. What about turning is just kind of, okay, just turns in place. But like, this thing is looking at something. 
He's like staying looking straight. This is surprisingly lifelike. This is this is reaching like uncanny valley territory where this is like it's a little bit too close to realistic here. All right, what is C? Oh, C is uh, first person mode. Dang, look at this. This is immersive. E fires the guns. All right, Q. Okay, Q fires rockets. And then F. Oh, F makes it so that the head locks on to where I'm looking. This looks so cool. All right, I can aim. All right, let's start walking through this. This is like actually pretty awesome. All right, well, I am very impressed with how this thing walks around. So up next is a uh, fighter jet. And this is by Svligori. Says it works, but not very well. It looks cool though. Doesn't have to work great, just has to work. F to start engines, G for bombs, T for aiming laser, R for guns. All right, I don't know if this map is gonna be big enough for it, but I'm gonna give it a try. All right, doing uh, control surfaces, check. That, oh no, the W and S look opposite of what I'm used to. All right, F to start engines. All right, here we go. Well, it passes as an instrument of destruction. Can we take off? Oh, it's working. It's working. Oh, look at the drive. I just noticed that the nose is drills. That's pretty cool. Uh, I forget what the other controls were. F to take off. There's like a bunch of other control. Oh, T for the laser. Oh, and it starts spinning this stuff. I'm trying to turn left here. It's not working out super well. Uh oh, pitch up, pitch up, pitch up. Pitch up and turn left. Uh, well, I can see what they mean about the not working super well part. Uh, I think G for bombs. There we go. I wanted to drop the bombs over the land, but I'm not having a lot of high hopes for controlling myself over there. Oh, there we go. There's some machine guns for R. All right, I'm kind of flying. I'm, I'm kind of stuck now. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna appreciate the aesthetic of this. The use of the drills is a really interesting use for the cockpit uh, windshield and the nose. And uh, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just, I'm crash landing in the ocean, going to my watery grave in slow motion, apparently. Oh, somehow I've actually made it slow motion, too. All right, this thing's actually pretty resistant to water, as you can see, though. All right, up next. Whoa. Colossal Skyworm. So this is made by Miguel. An absolutely ginormous worm flies and can also tunnel through the ground. Best played on the desert test map. Okay. Oh my goodness, this thing is huge. All right, I'm, uh, I'm spawning in now. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? How does this work? There we go. Left shift to go up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is a nightmare. Uh, atomic breath. Okay. Oh. Wow. How do I even aim that? Oh yes. I destroyed a building. I destroyed. Yeah. The whole thing's gone now. That's pretty awesome. But this is not the only creation like this, uh, also made by Miguel. I have one more made by Miguel that I want to show you guys. Here it is. Oh, look at that. This is the Eternal Dragon, also by Miguel. And this looks crazy. I'm assuming it's going to be the same controls. Same creator, similar type of vehicle. Toggle mouth. Oh my goodness. How do I, I, it, it doesn't even ex, like, it's so long, it doesn't even stay within, like, the field of view. Our visibility isn't far enough. How am I even going to thumbnail this? This is crazy. All right. Increase elevation. Wow. I can't even, like, see it. Look at my shadow. All right. Number one for laser. Oh, look at the mouth. What just happened with the... Look, that building just got destroyed. You can hardly even see it. Look at how like the fireball starts up in the mouth like that. But then that right there, it has like a, a negative color. The way it flexes looks so good. How does it even do that without collisions? This is so cool. I feel like I could almost tie myself in a knot if I tried hard enough. I, oh, look, I, I probably could. Oh wait, oh, look at that. I just go through myself apparently. I'm, I'm destroying the whole building, the whole starting building. All right, ready? 
There it goes. That actually was easier to aim than I thought it was going to be. Oh, that is so cool. This thing is insane. Oh, I've twisted myself all the way upside down. How am I even going to get a screenshot of this? Like, this is obviously going to be the thumbnail, but I'm really going to have to do a good job at taking a picture. But uh, let me know what creation was your favorite. I think you know which one was my favorite in this one. Uh, there was actually a lot of really good stuff in this one. But uh, this one is insane. I've never seen anything quite to this scale. But let me know what you like the best down in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.